this team. Mm -hmm. your, your thoughts going into it in terms of um, what you want, the kind of statement this team wants to make. Yeah, it's another great opportunity for us. Obviously, you know, we take it one game at a time. So right now we're just worried about Texas. Uh, we know they're a bigger team. You know, they, they have a great pace to them. You know, they like to get up and down the court. And they like to create havoc on the defensive end. So, you know, we've been preparing for that. But I think we'll be ready for the opponent we have. Coach Beeline talked about having a carryover uh, after letting Virginia Tech back in it uh, to that mindset of, of playing 40 minutes. I mean, obviously that's a, an important thing in this game to come. Yeah, you know, they don't they don't hand out trophies at halftime. You know, we learned that against the Virginia Tech team. Uh, you know, they fought hard and they battled back. So we got to be able to finish games. And I think that's something that we slack with Virginia Tech. So we got to be ready to play all 40 minutes and even more if it happens going overtime. You guys have had pretty good success against Chaka's teams. Is there a, a key to that? You know, uh, Coach B doesn't like when we turn the ball over. So, mm. you know, that's a huge thing for us because, you know, they like to force turnovers. So as long as we play our game and don't let them um, pressure us and try to change the way that we play, I think we'll be fine. When they do that, uh, when they're able to turn it over, it, it seems like it it's creates situations where you guys are more likely to foul because they're in transition and all. One thing leads to another. Exactly. That's why we can't turn the ball over, you know, um, even though, you know, we can turn that against on them. You know, we got to be able to go back door. we got to be able to make smart basketball players when they do get up in us and add pressure. Nine o'clock start. Is that just a matter of course now, or do you guys do anything different at all when you, you're starting that way? Not really. We just push back really our pregame meal. Everything else stays the same. But, uh, you know, prime time game, very late. Uh, we're excited, though. We'll be, we'll be ready for it. Okay. Talk about um, this Texas team, what you've seen on, on film and what um, their strengths. They're, they're a bigger team. You know, they do play with two bigs at times. Um, but, you know, having DJ in our lineup, we'll help us out with that because, you know, DJ more bigger guys. So, I mean, like I said, they do like to get up and down the court, though, so we got to be able to limit their transition points. Do you prefer if a bigger guy is guarding you, maybe you can take off the dribble or a smaller guy and shoot over? Is there a preference for you on offense? No, not really. You know, um, really, each game, it just it differs. You know, sometimes I have a bigger guy on me, sometimes I have a smaller guy on me. You know, so, I mean, there's advantages and disadvantages with both. But, you know, I'm ready for whatever matchup I have. How hard is it for Matt? You've played fast games before. How hard is it for you to believe you're step up a fast game? Like, it's going to be both these games, I guess, this week will be that one. Yeah, I believe so. Um, more playing, you, know, you just got to be ready at all times. I think, uh, I think, you know, we've been watching a lot of films, so you know, they're going to play. Um, but, you know, he's been part of, you know, it's similar kind of like an AAU game, you know, when you get up and down and going. So, uh, you know, we're just trying to try to play our game and not, and not fall into what our opponents do. Is that the is that really the best comparison? At least, was it for you when the first time you had to play someone who really went up tempo? Yeah. With an AAU? I mean, it's, it's kind of similar to it. But, um, you know, you, you just want to stick to our style of play. You know, we like to get up and down too, but you know, we don't want to <laughs> do things uncharacteristic. You know, turnovers that we have, we don't we want to limit those. Can you remember what, uh, I mean, go back to what Xavier's going through right now uh, in the freshman adjustment? Yeah, it's, it's tough. Um, you know, time flies, you know, I can't believe I'm already a senior. Uh, but, you know, I think he'll be fine. You know, we have Derek and I have been coaching him up. You know, same thing with Ivy and the rest of the freshmen, John and Austin. I think all of our freshmen will be ready. You know, our coaching staff and, and our seniors have done a great job with that. Coach consistently talks about him showing flashes in practice. When he's showing flashes, what, what does he do really well? X is, X is a great player. Um, just the way he's able to see the floor, and, and he's so quick. Uh, he's able to get it around his defender pretty easily. And I, I think just a big thing for him is his court awareness. And once that grows even more, he'll be a very dangerous player. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks.